I'm off to get my adventure bag. <laughs> yeah! Ready? Let's go. Bringing a Terry Pratchett story to life, you're just guaranteed joy, excitement, imagination, and beauty. You go from town to town pretending to be a plague of rats. It's all a big swindle. It's an adventure story that has cats, rats, and me in it. Ow! There's something behind me. It's about time talking animals to the rescue. <laughs> Unbelievable. I was expecting something horrible, yet interesting, some ghastly clue that would advance the plot. <gasps> no wonder we didn't see it. Melissa as a character, she is an incredibly optimistic, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed young lady who lives in her imagination and lives for reading and lives for stories and lives to the fullness of life. I knew I could count on you, Mr. Clicky. Now they have the rare and precious weapon to defeat the evil rat king. So the way that I prepared my Melissa voice, it was less about her tombra and more about the speed in which she talks and like when she gets excited, what does she do? And, and when we got to the recording studio, as often happens, there is a kind of like, no, but sound like you. <laughs> Maybe you're just the sympathetic friend who serves as a sounding board to help me resolve my ethical dilemmas. Like, don't be anyone else though. Like, do, do sound identifiable as you, as Amelia. What? Who's to say a narrator can't also appear in the story she's telling? But honestly, it just came out. Like, it often happens when I'm reading something, a voice will just come out and you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that works. That's, that seems right. Well, in that case... Whoa. Shut up! I'm trying to hear the music. 